welcome to Facebook Live and a very belated but happy new year to everybody. Um, we're here with our brand new and rather beautiful pattern. This is the ooh, fast and fabulous unicorn dress. And we've called it unicorn because it's kind of one of those dresses you're always seeking. You know, really simple, quick to make, easy to wear, just put it on you, it can accessorize it forever. And it'll suit all body shapes and sizes. This is it, I promise you. So we're going to do the usual. I'm going to go through some details. We're going to chit chat about fabrics. And there's a few questions that I was asked uh, on our Facebook sewing group in the last week that I really wanted to kind of answer because I think more than one person will want to know the answer to this. So, okay, so here's our beautiful unicorn dress. It is a simple t-shirt dress. It must be made in t-shirt fabrics. And you really want something that's got a bit of oomph to it. You don't want one of those very floaty, kind of burnout, bamboo ones, you want something that's a little bit of body. You can go for an ITY knit, which is internal twisted yarn. That's very drapey. Uh, I like an interlock type fabric, that's for heavier t-shirting. Or you can use a ponte, a lightweight ponte or a French terry. All those things will be great. This is an interlock. This is an interlock crepe. Not sure quite how that works. All I know is it's got that lovely crepey feel to it, kind of dry handle, and it hangs really nicely. Where was that from? Uh, good point. These are both, I want to say, from Fabric Mart, but of course I bought them ages ago, so who knows. But the trick with them is, um, you've noticed that I've done one in kind of a, a kind of retro y graphic -y print and one in a solid. And I did that because I want you to see just how different they look when you do them in different fabrics. So really, you choose what you want. Uh, don't be shy about it. Go for a nice rich colour or a really beautiful print. Or, of course, this will be a perfect LBD. Make it in black, make it in dark navy, make it in like an inky kind of aubergine colour. It'll all look good. Now, the details on it are this. You've got a very simple boat neck at the front. Boat neck suits everyone, I promise you. Whether you are long of neck or short of shoulder or whatever, works on everyone. And on the back, you've got what I call a bra-friendly low back. It is bra friendly, but obviously when you make your first muslin, I would suggest you just make this part and check that it's not too low for you. And I'll deal with that towards the end, the kind of filling in of the back thing. So you've got a nice lowish back, which is you know, interesting. It's kind of a groovy look, but not too uh, excessive. And you've got a really pretty kind of just above the elbow length sleeve, back here, which is really, really wearable. And the skirt shape, I've left this one belted so you can see. It's a very gentle A-line, really gentle. And the whole point of it is this, it's kind of a t-shirt dress, but you know t-shirt dresses are usually like this, and nothing wrong with that by the way, I like a t-shirt dress. Sometimes you want something a little bit more zhuzh, and this has it. Of course an A-line makes it a bit more swishy, makes it easier to walk in, all good as far as I'm concerned. So wear it with a belt, wear it unbelted, wear it with a tie belt, or add one of your own belts. And um, there's a few questions I had, and I wanted to really address those. Uh, one of our customers emailed and said, you know, I'm not too sure about this whole low back business. What can I do? Good question. If you're not a low back fan, and I would say try it, but you never know, you can fill this in really easily. All you do is this. You get your back pattern piece, and you match it up to the front. Trace the front neckline off on this. Maybe raise it a smidge and try it. That's it. That's it. There's nothing else to do. It's really, really easy. So you can do that. Um, the other thing, of course, you can do if you don't want to wear it at this time of year with a low back, it looks great with a turtleneck underneath it. It looks really good with a, a, a blouse or a shirt underneath it. So, Or, of course, a jacket on top. So you can do all those things. So, yeah. Now, Jeremy, is there anything I've forgotten? Because there usually is. I don't. Oh, the time it took to make them. Oh, that's a good point. Okay. So I made this one the other day because I wanted to, and I cut this one out and I thought, you know what, I'm going to actually give myself a proper experiment and see exactly how long it takes me to do. So I had everything cut, there's no interfacing, so I had none of that done, had my machine thread up. This took me exactly 48 minutes to make, apart from this, which took another 10. Let's not speak of turning out the belt. So, just under an hour. And I'm, you know, bear in mind, I'm not a speedy sewer, I'm kind of an ambly sewer. This one, I just kept doing it. <laughs> And it really isn't that hard to do. So I would say this is great for beginners, great for a quickie project, and great if you just want, you know, simple thing. That's why it's called Fast and Fabulous, because it is. And let me just show you this one with the tied belt. You can see it loose. It's not baggy baggy. It's just got a little gentle flare. And then when you tie it in, you get much more of a kind of a dirndl effect. Does that sound right? Yes, dirndl. Uh, kind of those 50s kind of groovy dresses, which looks really nice. And bear in mind, I'm working with the back here, so I've no idea what this looks like at the front, but I'm assuming... It's going to be pretty darn groovy. So yeah, that's it. Our beautiful, fast and fabulous unicorn dress. I suggest you go out and make one. 
right now. Bear in mind, it's now available for download also. Oh, yes, so you can. You can buy it now, download it now, and have it properly wearing it tomorrow if you want to. <laughs> Thank you.